Okay. Okay, so many of us know that teenagers are considered the most dangerous drivers on the road. But recently, elderly drivers over the age of 65 are starting to show concern. You are looking at that harrowing footage we first showed you last week. An 84-year-old woman speeding the wrong way down the interstate in Philadelphia. She said she was on her way to the dentist when she caused all that havoc on the highway, driving for several miles on the wrong side of the median. Although no one was seriously injured, she caused four accidents. As Jeremy Hubbard reports, she has also sparked a new debate on whether some seniors should be stopped from driving. That was traumatic, you know, it was just, it was, it was something I never, never thought I'd see. Tim Fleming pulled out his cell phone camera to record the jaw-dropping sign on I-95 outside Philadelphia Thursday, desperately honking his horn, trying to get her attention. I saw a car spurred around there, she wouldn't stop, and I yelled at her again, she just waved her arm at me, just, like, leave me alone. Amazingly, no one was seriously hurt, despite the four crashes she caused. Her road trip, a reminder of the dangers sometimes associated with older drivers. This is a critical issue now and will be even more so in 5, 10, 20 years. Statistics show drivers 65 and older are 16% more likely to cause an accident than younger drivers between ages 25 and 64. So what are the warning signs? Have there been recent crashes, recent tickets? Has there been a major change in seeing, thinking, or moving? All of those are red flags and should make the person seek a formal assessment of their driving skills. It can be physically harder to drive when you age. ABC's John Berman tested a suit designed by an insurance company to simulate the ailments of older drivers, including a neck brace that limits range of motion. He discovered even putting the car in reverse is tough. I can't. I can't see behind me. Confusion is the problem for some older drivers. In 2003, an 89-year-old California man mistook his gas pedal for the brakes and plowed into a crowded farmer's market, killing 10, injuring 63 others. As for this confused driver, her... Mm. Okay. So, obviously that shows a lot, but um, these elderly drivers don't only suffer from physical issues, but they also suffer psychologically. Um, 80% of people over the age of 70 suffer from arthritis, which makes it hard for them to turn and flex their joints, and it also makes it very painful for them to do so. They also suffer from weak muscles, poor range of motion, and poor flexibility, which um, results in problems with turning steering wheels, like turning behind them to see, um, pressing the brake or gas like by mistake, and even reaching the doors and windows. They also suffer from hearing and vision loss, which are major issues when it comes to driving, obviously. Um, a visual impairment is described as something that can't be corrected by glasses, and 12% of people between the ages of 70 and 74 suffer from that, and 17% between 75 and 79. So, um, and it's virtually the same for men and women, and obviously that's important when it comes to seeing stop signs versus yield signs, like traffic lights and everything. 35% um, of men suffer from hearing impairments, which can be corrected by a hearing aid, but not many people use those. Um, and it's virtually the same for women, and that results in issues with hearing horns. Like, obviously, that guy was trying to get her attention, she didn't hear him, and she just, like, kept going. Um, so, obviously, those are big issues when it comes to driving. 75% of people over the age of 65 report using more than one medication while driving, and then less than one-third of those people acknowledge that those medications actually affected their driving. So these people are not only using medication, but they don't even know that it's inhibiting their driving skills. They are more likely to get an accident due to a medical complication, such as a heart attack or stroke or seizure. And um, that even happened to my mom on the highway. An elderly man had a heart attack, and he plowed right into the side of her. Mm -hmm. And so that can happen to anyone any age but the risk significantly goes up over the age of 65. Um, in 2009, over 60% of deaths involving drivers between the ages, or over the age of 70, were completely the driver's fault, or like not including outside forces. In comparison to only 42% of drivers between 16 and 30 were attributed to the driver. So they result, like more accidents caused by People over the age of 70 were directly the driver's fault. Um, as of right now, only two states require complete retests for 
drivers over the age of 65 when they want to renew their license. And other states only require a hearing test or a vision test. And some don't require anything. Like they just need to renew it. And I think that all states should require the um, a complete retest so that they can kind of weed out these people and make like roads safer. And a lot of people would argue that it's the family's choice to decide when their um, parents or grandparents should like stop driving or even like the driver's decision. But most of them aren't able to make that decision without their feelings included in it and um, other people's safety considered.